drag Fluent onto the project schematic and Fluent is the tool that will help us solve the uh, conservation equations for the flow. I'll call this cylinder R equal to 20 and right click on geometry and select properties and change analysis type to 2D. So here I'm telling the solver that I want to solve the 2D version of the conservation equations, 2D um, continuity and 2D Navier-Stokes equations. I'll cross out of there and double click on geometry to start the geometry engine which is called design modeler. Let's make a sketch of our inner and outer circles. So I'll highlight XY plane. So, I'll, so I'm sketching on the XY plane. I will look at the plane, go into the sketching tab, and let me move this down. Select circle. Hover around the origin until you see the P, which means that the cursor is coincident with the origin, and then draw the inner circle. Similarly, get the P for the origin, and then draw the outer circle. Go to the Dimensions toolbox and select Diameter and set a dimension for the inner circle and then for the outer circle. And if I come down here, so the cylinder, I'm setting it to be one meter, the diameter, and the outer circle, I'm going to put it, the outer boundary, I'm putting it 64 diameters away. So that's going to be 64. And now we can create a surface in between the two circles. So I'll go to Concept, Surfaces from Sketches. S click anywhere on the sketch and say Apply. And then Generate. And if I turn off the sketch here, and if I zoom out using the middle mouse button, I see my surface is the region between the inner circle and the outer circle. And I can come in here and this is what, you know, so this is the domain uh, for my boundary value problem. I'm going to do one additional thing. Um, which is to imprint vertical lines on the surface and that I'll do to control the mesh. Let's do that next.